Hello there peeps, while we're on a roll and I'm doing videos left, right and centre and I've got some room in my garage, I don't know if anybody saw that big scrap run I did yesterday but, uh, or was it yesterday? What day is it today? Wednesday. Two days ago I did a big scrap run. I got rid of 30 bags of VIR or um, household flex and I've actually got some room in my workshop. I say workshop, it's a garage. But I can actually move. Instead of 30 odd bags of VIR I've now got these bins stacked up and these bins are where I keep my slot cards computer placed computer games boards um, what's in this one that one's empty these two are empty at the moment and um, what we got down here large socket motherboards we've got more large socket mother balls down there. What's in the one above it? This is my chip on ball collection. Um, not sure how well this is going to show up as usual. But there's those big square bins there. There's four of those and they're full of what I class as mid-grade balls. So that's DVR balls out of these set-top boxes and modem balls. Anything with more than one chip on or anything more, anything with a BGA and other chips I put into mid-grade. So I've got four of those full up at the moment. The, what they weigh, I don't know. Um, no idea. Anything with just the one chip on, like the, the, the chip on board items, like what you get in a mouse with just a single resin dipped chip. I've, I've put in the chip on board. Anything with only one chip that isn't resin dipped, I break off and I'll pile over there in my, as you can see, little collection of IC chips. Below it, mobile phone boards, household cordless phone boards, pin CPUs, pinless CPUs, and card CPUs like Pentium 4, is it? Pentium, Pentium 3, Pentium 4, where they're on a slot card. They go in there. Um, laptop motherboards down there. Large socket motherboards. Or, no, they're metal socket motherboards down there. So basically I've got these bins. I've got two of each. This one is wire that needs to go through the stripper. It's really thick cable, obviously. My aluminium. There's my pile of number two. Wire. There's probably about... Uh, 80 kilos there of number two wire I haven't bothered taking in yet. Um, various toolboxes I've picked up over the past six months or so. Um, my stainless steel collection. Sinks, there's three sinks there and a load of stainless steel. I've got another load of stainless steel in the garage which you'll have seen earlier with the furniture in which I can't get to. Another bin of large socket motherboards. Yeah, it says large on it. So there, the uh, what is there? There, these. You see that? It's a large socket motherboard. I, I classify them um, large socket, small socket, metal socket, and laptop. Um, I'm still waiting for my refiners to get back to me and tell me whether that's the, not the right way to do it. I mean, it all depends on how they re refer to it, doesn't it? So, your tablet and smartphones. Ram, ram chips, I think there's about five kilos of ram chips there. Not a lot, but well, you know, it's, it all adds up. Um, my little workbench is still there on top of my two alloy wheels. I would have weighed those in, but I need them for my workbench. I will be building a workbench eventually. Um, this council recycling bin that they no longer use because they don't do green recycling anymore. Uh, it's full up with hard drives. I've probably got, well, I can't move this bin, it's too heavy. I've probably got three, 400 kilos of hard drives. I should really get rid of them next because I don't strip them. Um, here's my workbench I'm just stripping at the moment. Some cones out of TVs. I've got another big TV there. Not sure if you can see it. Big CRT TV to strip. Bucket of cable I picked up last night. Um, I'm already halfway through my first 
sack of cable, um, heating boiler, it's boiler season don't forget, as you can tell by the fact I've got a stack of boilers there and computers and DVRs and stuff like and microwaves again, went from a scrap round to come around and get. Um, Aluminium copper rads that goes in with, so it'll go with that. Um, obviously, some boiler pipe I've got to clean up, I've got to take this brass off of it, and I shall cut that off. Put that section in number two, that in the brass, and that in number one. Um, the number one bin is at the moment. I don't even know if, I mean, I'm going to turn the camera off a second, and you can come back and you can see what I've got in number one in a minute. All right, there you go, that's my number one bin. That's just broken dustbin, that's how heavy that is. That is an entire dustbin full up of unflattened number one copper pipe. Normally what I do is I hammer it flat then stick it through a, oh, what do you call them? The drying clothes, a mangle. I normally stick it through a mangle. I normally bash them, start bashing them flat with a hammer then stick it through a mangle to save on space. But the mangle's stuck at the back of my other garage at the moment. So I've got a dustbin there that I can't pick up and it's falling apart because I tried to pick it up. There's probably, 40 kilos of number one there and there's some other pipe at the back I don't take in my number one uh, that's my retirement over there I've got stacks and stacks of number one copper cable um, but that's my little workshop at the moment I know it doesn't show up very well on video at all but there she is, completing that a mess, stacks of DVRs to go through, 